All lights are strong. How, what position did you have? Floor director. You were the floor director? I do believe so. Yeah, it was like He is now, huh? Oh, that's right. Tawana was on camera three, two. You weren't? No. Yes, you were. She's on camera two. That's the answer right there. I just hope the girls don't move so much. Well, they won't. I positioned it the best way I could uh, based on putting the cameras back to the same, to a spot that we could actually get the camera shot in the fish for example, yours could get his old show. And I was like, I was running so fast and everything. I don't want to the chairs a little bit. No, no, no. This. We'll see. I'm going to come now. Yes, I can. Can I get a little bit? I hear each other. Yes. We gave you a good birthday present, right? Well, when I saw that email, I'm like, yes, I think you can class, yes. I'm like, I don't know if she did that. I gave you, I told you, you were supposed to celebrate Monday. You were supposed to celebrate Monday. Now, do we want them to work in class? Right. 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 We, can, we can adjust it when we sit down. But, next week is all footage.
Like, if you can somehow pay attention, because <laughs> like the last time, yeah, I'm, I'm, that's what I put it to them. Check now, she asked for my permission to be standing on my set. But <laughs> wait, 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 baby boy, wait, 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 baby boy. Before I get to you, I can make sure everybody's in their place, right? Tell me. Okay. See, and then once, yes. And so once I uh, see everybody's in their place, we go our class. Okay. And then I said, once didn't you got it? And then. We talk. Is that okay? You you know I ain't trying to rub you the wrong way. <laughs> 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 what, what, no, I can't be today. <laughs> what's that song? What's that song? Yeah, you want to rub me the wrong way? <laughs> well, <laughs> Directing. <laughs> there is the song like that, ain't it? There is the song like that. Yeah, I, I don't know the words, but uh, I know there's a song because it's in it's back in my mind. All right, all right, wonderful. Yeah, we on we on the road today. Good, good. We on the road today. I checked around to see if there was okay. a mirror, but there wasn't no mirror back there. Okay. You ready? Worst today. <clears throat> Y'all not gonna record our feet. Where, right? Where's the town? <laughs> Come on, sweetheart. <laughs> I'll be saying. Okay, we make it start. No, thank you. No, take your feet. I didn't wear my waist. I'm not here. I'm not here. I know it's no good. Oh, sorry. So, so, do the chairs need him? Now, we're going to see if it's in position. Yeah, I might. That is. Do it. All right, here we go. Is that me? No, I have six. Oh, it's me? I think it's. I think it's. No, it's not me. No, when she puts her hand over the thing on her behind. <laughs> so how are we looking in there?
Yeah. You want the tree? Uh, you want the, you want the trees moving? They were there in the yeah. side. We should move. Should we move them? Yeah, bathroom. I don't know. Because that's the talent. Talent. How you feel about the trees? We need some decoration. So you think you should keep the trees and move? That's what they want. Yeah, actually, you. Yeah. Oh, what you think? Don't want to. Horses. 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 Like some sticking out of our hands, then we're fine.
relationship. And then the semi question after that is why do you feel some would feel pressure from establishing a title? And then I guess depending on your responses in there, hopefully it's a little long winded. We can kind of fill this little seven. So he's trying to find tomorrow to see what's going on. So you can All right. relax. relax. I hear some people who are dating the choice um, uh, who are dating um, uh, they, before they get into a relationship so they see the person's flaws and then at that moment they have to decide okay, do I want to deal with these flaws or do I want to try to change them? Do you really like trying to change someone? Your hair is smacking the mic. The right no. thing. You got to do your thing, do your thing. One take. Our thing. Don't put this all on me. <laughs> are they still having problems or no? No. Are, are we slowing no, problems? Mm-hmm. Yes, we are. Yeah. We all got to do that. Yeah. How do I know? Huh? What are you doing? Okay, so I feel like my face looks fat. During break, I always be like, I mean, well, so far, this conversation has been interesting, but right now we're going to take a break. And Would you be clear behind your As soon as you see that one minute thing, you just wind it, you know, wind it on down. There you go. Put your hair back there. There we go. You'll never do it again. <laughs> noise every time. All right, people, we get ready to go in our closet. Separate ourselves. Huh? These lights make me all. Is that what sounds? The color is off. Yeah. Oh, okay, because I keep yeah, doing it. Yeah, it's not. It's not. Like, okay. And it just makes that way because your sweater is yellow. He's up. Uh, um, so pink, so it's, it's trying to... Oh, that's... No, 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 it really is. It's, so it's making it glow out. It's out of what it is. So the camera really does have <coughs> the same pounds, huh? No. Well, specifically, no. Oh, I'm the linebacker. No, I'm telling you, it's the color. Like, look, I'm it, trying to figure out how to do it. It's because of the linebacker. No, the magenta, it's just, it's just keyed up to I'm that. I'm trying to make my hands look smaller. <laughs> yeah, I mean, don't, don't trust the guy. I mean, I don't know. It's like you're living all day, every day. I mean, I wouldn't know what's on. We just don't pay attention to it because we're not on camera every day. Like, One day they'll trust us, right? No. 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 Turn it back on so I can see myself. Turn it off. Turn it off. You look beautiful. Action. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> I was like, wait, what? <laughs> All right, everyone. Pride on the shit. Everyone. Pride on the shit. Here, I can't do this. Okay. I can't do this. Okay. Ready to roll tape. Ready mics. Ready to cue talent. Fade in camera two. Fade in mics. Fade in camera two. Hello, my name is Sierra Allen, and we are on Word on Campus with Sabrina, my guest. Today we're going to be talking about the 450 Gender Communications course that's offered at IUN. And specifically, we're going to dive into uh, relationships. 
So Sabrina, let's just go right in with the first question. Um, in our generation of dating, what do you feel are the pressures of creating a monogamous relationship? That's a good question. I think that some of the, I think one of the biggest problems in a relationship or even a potential relationship is defining maybe what it is. And I think that leads to a lot of stress because a lot of times people can feel like two totally different things when it comes to relationships. So there's one person who may be moving a lot faster than another person, or there's right. one person that may have more feelings than another person. So that leads to a lot of tension because you have someone who's ready to establish something as opposed to just, you know, keep dragging along and mm -hmm. just taking things as they are. And you have one person who feels like the way that they're moving is fine. So. <coughs> Well, how do you think that issue would be solved? Like, what is the the one thing that would make both people be on the same page? I think it takes a lot of communication. Right. A lot of communication. <laughs> exactly. And that's something that so many people have yet to master. I think uh, communication is something that's on Stop. Right. What was that? What happened? What was that? I don't know, the nasty mic feedback maybe. Um, Someone's phone went off too. Yep, the phone went off. Mm -hmm. These guys get fired for stuff like that. Fire. It was. Sarah, but honestly, I'll say something, Sarah. Yeah. Something, something, something. Yeah, everybody's working at all. I was actually going to ask, can we do the intro again? Because I kind of screwed that up. <laughs> that was great. Sabrina. Jesus Christ. Hmm? Don't, don't take the Lord's name in vain. Sorry. I'll say whatever you want, man. Don't take my Lord in vain. <laughs> Say test one, two, three. Oh, I should have got my eyebrows. Sabrina, Sabrina, test one, two, three. Oh, test one, two, three. She said, oh, damn it. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> How do I get this thing? I wish I could see this. Sabrina, talk to us. Keep talking. Keep talking. Is my mic not working? Just keep, keep talking. Yeah, I don't know. They're trying to tune it. Okay. 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 Just keep talking. So, um, keep going. I know, right? I was actually yes. talking to everyone. It's blowing. Talk about cats. I'm not talking about cats because cats didn't want to talk to a conversation about vaginas. Bring the mic underneath the sweater. So take it from up here. Yeah. Oh, the, the line, the cord? Yeah. That's it. Oh, yeah. put the cord like this. Yeah, I'll spin you around. Right on 
Today I'm here with my guest Sabrina. We're going to be talking about gender and communications, the 450 course. Can you stop? Because I screwed that R way up. I just need one more time. I swear I'll be right. Just one more time. That's third time's the charm. I'm sorry. Oh wait, that, was, that wasn't the third time. You oh. killed the charm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> 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 Hello, my name is Sierra Allen, and you're watching Word on Campus, the topic of discussion with my guest Sabrina tonight. Nope, shouldn't say tonight. To, yeah. Are you sure when you're ready? Are you sure? I'm ready. You, you want to read it over again? Again? Peruse it? Huh? You want to read it over again? Do I have time? If you want. If, if you, I mean, we don't have time. Like, it's 6 o'clock right now. Yeah, but we, see, we only, we only going to be doing seven shit, seven minute pops. Right, we haven't even gotten. But we still have. Yeah, it took like 45 seconds. I know. And we only have today to record it. I'm sorry, y'all. Hey, we're only human. <laughs> yes. Sabrina, Sabrina, look at the camera. When. when Doing the camera. intro and the outro. Only Just camera two. That's the only one you had to ever have. Like we like it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like we like a little smile. Like we can always do it when we're talking. Yeah. Is it okay for me to look down at the paper every once in a while? Like the intro? Yeah. 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 It is? Oh, I thought I had to look straight at the camera. I was asking the professor. Do people that. like do? Can you ask them that? Yeah. They said it was okay? To look at the paper a little bit during the introduction. I don't think that's good though, right? Just to talk through, through the, the um, that's what I mean, not like read the whole thing. Okay. <coughs> right, right. What'd she say? Right. Hey, hold up the sign. Basically what she's saying that when when I'm giving you the thirty minutes and, and the cut off, right, just keep keep roll, talking as if uh, the tape is still rolling. Okay. First one, or better yet, when I pop the thirty, when I pop the thirty seconds on you, think having your mind, we'll be back to wrap this up at a okay, okay commercial break. Or, okay, you know, so it's a commercial break. Yeah. 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Don't not say so commercial break. Okay. We, I get what you're commercial, saying. commercial break. Right. You just said well, this yeah. conversation's been interesting, but right now we're gonna go to a break and we'll be back soon. Yeah. On word on campus. And to, and, and to act natural like we're still taking it. Is that good? <laughs> Sierra Allen, and you're watching Word on Campus. Today's topic of discussion is um, with our guest Sabrina. It's going to stem from the 450 Gender and Communications course, and we're going to specifically hone in on the topic relationships. So, Sabrina, let's just jump right in. Um, our first question is, in our generation of dating, what do you feel are the pressures of creating a monogamous relationship? Um, I feel, actually, it's so funny that you said it, because actually I think your question is the actual problem when it comes to monogamous relationships. Mm -hmm. When it comes to trying to establish something between two people, I feel like a lot of times people can be on two different pages, and someone may want something more solidified.
solidified with their relationship, as where they're ready to establish something and you know start laying down what's going on. And then you may have a person who's comfortable with how things are just flowing, and they're not as into a rigorous title or trying to figure out what's going on. And even though it just may be them too, they may not be particular. You know, particular to stuff on the idea. Okay, this is going to be monogamous between me and this person. So right. So how would you fix that issue of two people being on two different pages? I think that the biggest problem with that is is that there isn't really a lot of communication as far as relationships are concerned. Communication, when you think of it nowadays, is something that's almost like an acquired skill. It's not anything that we're, you know, we develop easily now, especially with the advancement of technology and there's like stuff on Twitter with their right, 150 right. characters <laughs> and Instagram. Right. So we're kind of lacking and losing the skill of communicating and that trickles down into relationships. But if communication was stronger, you know, maybe people could be more on the same page, even if, you know, someone states something that another person might not want. At least they would have an idea of what was going on in the relationship. So you feel that social media might be one of the issues along with lack of communication as far as people not being on the same page in relationships? I feel like it's, it has a huge, huge effect on it. Okay. People more so use Facebook to get their feelings. True. And <laughs> they want to update who they're with right. and what they're feeling like and they want to lash out on people, you know, subliminally. But that's the problem. Instead of picking up a phone to talk to someone or learning how to fully express ourselves, we become kind of handicapped by social media and just being able to take it easy and get out behind our phones or behind our computers. That is absolutely true. So dating versus talking, when do you feel is the right time to establish that title? I don't think there is a right time. I feel like everybody, I feel like couples move differently. You want to call yourself a couple, I don't know. That's right. probably the first way, but <laughs> right. I feel like people move differently. And that's such a huge, huge issue as well because you know, you have people lay down, okay, well, if this hasn't happened in three months, then I'm moving on. If this right. hasn't happened in six months, I'm moving on. And we should have this laid out in three months. You know what? I don't think that makes any type of sense at all. I think that you need to communicate, and then as things progress, okay, you go ahead and lay down, okay, well, do you think we're at this point, or should we be at this point? And then I feel like you can more so establish something instead of having, like, a definitive time period of when something should or shouldn't be happening. Okay, so let's just say... You've been talking to a guy for six months, and you guys haven't established a title. Do you feel like, okay, uh, I think I'm just going to go with the flow and just see where it goes? Or do you feel like that's just too much time to spend on one person without knowing if we have a title or not? I wouldn't say it is too, or too much time or too little time. You have some couples who they're perfectly fine with being like that, but then again, that's where the communication comes in. There's nothing wrong with expressing how you feel about something if it's been six months and you're like, okay, What's, you know, what's going on? I'm just trying to get an idea of where we're at. You know, I'm not trying to push either one of us into anything, but I'm just trying to see, you know, what's, you know, where your head may be. There's nothing wrong with stating that. And then once you get a response from someone, you can easily determine for yourself, okay, maybe, you know, this is something that I may need to take a break from, or okay, I'm comfortable with just moving along at this pace. That's definitely where communication comes in. Definitely. So um, why do you feel some men feel the pressure from establishing a title? Because when we're in the conversation of trying to figure out if we're going to be an item or not, usually the pressure is on the male to establish this. Do you feel that um, times have changed now where the woman can establish um, the title, or do you feel like that should be strictly on the male to do that? It, I think it's kind of shifting now. More so it is always, well not always, it is, it is us a lot that will come to the male and be like, okay, well, what's going on? Like, right, well, you know, and I thought we were together. Right. We were together. <laughs> more so that's us, you know, but that's just because of how, you know, we're made, males are different, and we're more of the nurturers and the ones who want to start, you know, developing something and building a family and a home. Right. So subconsciously, I think that we'll do it, but when it comes to the guys, you know, it's like, they're a little more laid back about it. So, I mean, just trying to define it in that sense is a little difficult, but, you know, it, again, it comes down to me. So you as a woman, if you were in a six-month, um, I guess, situation, not necessarily a relationship with a male, and um, he, you know, wanted to establish a title, would you be okay with, I guess, would you be okay with taking the role of establishing the title is what I'm trying to ask. If he approached me with it, you say, I don't know, it depends on how we're flowing. It depends on how we're moving along. If I mean, if we're in something where things are going good and we're just clicking and it just feels right, okay, well, fine. Then let's go ahead and just take that and go to the next step. But I feel like if we're not and we're just, you know, we're cool at with how we're flowing and, you know, I may like you, but I don't know if I like you like that, well, then you, the pressure may be put on me and I'm like, okay, maybe I need to stop. <laughs> <laughs> so, stop answering the phone calls. <laughs> 
So you don't consider yourself to be the player kind of person where you, you know, stop answering. Like, you're going to actually communicate with that person and tell them, like, I do not like you like that. I think you should just be free. You're not going to lead nobody on, right? I don't want you doing that. That's wrong. I'm not going to lead nobody on. I've changed. I've changed. <laughs> but no, no, I don't. I believe in the communication. Definitely. Well, this conversation has been great. I enjoy your responses. And now we're going to take a break and we'll be back on Word on Campus. Good show. Good show. Good show. Waiting on us, so um, after she gets to going over there, give me a heads up. Hey, hey. Uh, Sounds good. Hey, talk to me. Here's the And how are you? Good. <laughs> what is it? It's all good. It's gonna be real long. Right. <laughs> um, wrap it up. Yeah. I don't think it will be my birthday. So should it's I your birthday today? Oh, well, happy We're birthday. Um, happy birthday. birthday. We go to the club. We go to the club. I'm not a young buck. We still go to the club. Still gotta get up for working. Well, hey, hey. <laughs> yeah. No, we really seriously have a birthday. You know. So when I come back, I'm going to get her back with Word on Campus with our guest, Sabrina. And then, okay, so we're going to talk to her. Go back to your position. No, no, don't say that. I'm not going to say it frugally. Oh, you're saying like the way that you're applying through. How y'all doing? Yeah, okay. And then, because this is going to, I'm going to make this a two-part question. Okay, yeah, I'm going to make this a two-part question. So first I'm going to ask, like, what is your definition of talking and what is your definition of dating? And then what is the difference between communication styles of men versus women? And then I'm going to talk about... Oh, yeah, that's, that's right. but, that question is kind of... Acceptance of... Well, yeah, I'm She's going to talk about the difference between the communication styles of a man. The topic of discussion... <laughs> I forgot I was talking to this. I forgot I was talking to this microphone. Of course you Hey, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready all. I'm ready all the time. I've been ready. Okay. 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 Ok
I've been ready. Yeah. But but now as as to our talent, whether or not they're ready, that's a whole different question. Okay, y'all y'all are you guys ready on your um, we well, gotta get them in position yet, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> you about ready? Yeah, because dating, dating and talking is same thing. And then, see, that's his definition. See, that's what's trying to be interesting. It's the same. Listen, talking to dating is two different things. You guys ready? Yes. If that kind of question was an issue when I was your age, and it's an issue now, and I thought that issue was settled. That's not true. Back up. Okay, you about ready? Are you in positions? You in positions, please. Do the camera checks. Okay. Okay, we're waiting on your channel. Sorry. It's okay. <laughs> Challenge ready. stemming from the 450 Junior and Communications course. So um, the first question, I mean, the next question, <laughs> the next question that I have is what is the difference between, what do you think are the differences between? We're ready, talent? Yes. Yes, here, we're right on the set. <laughs> no, that, okay. Sierra, and we're back here with Word on Campus with our guest Sabrina talking about relationships stemming from the 450 Gender and Communication course offered at IUN. So to continue our conversation, um, this question I have here, it talks about the difference between the communication styles of men and women. What is your take on that? I think we have two totally different communication styles. Completely. <laughs> Completely different communication styles. One, I feel like, yeah, we'll be going on with the... Well, see, but see, no, no, no. See, we've got it on tape. We can swatch that in. So yeah. I don't have to. Can we just start from the question? Because I don't want to do that. See, that's all. Right. Stop watching the camera, co-host and co-host. Sorry, I just thought that I was talking. I just saw her face. Coast to coast. I'm like, I know I'm talking to her, but I'm just looking at her. Yeah, I'm like, what are you talking about? Black wears a shot. He should have been getting it. I am. Uh, I, I got it from over here. Okay. Um, <laughs> What are you referring to? It's a problem. you got to get a break. Oh, the monitor. You keep going. Don't look at the monitor. I don't need no break. No, you can't. My bad. I ain't been cheating. Not stop for 30 minutes. Yeah, no, that ain't hard enough. Snickers, wires, and baseball caps. Really? That's what can't That's okay. That's spoken just like a real talent. That's all right. I'm good. Are you ready? Are we ready? Yes. Mm -hmm. I have to. Yes. Take it from the 
say professionals will have a damn wow. teleprompter. <laughs> Sabrina, and we're continuing our conversation stem from the 450 Gender and Communications course, and we're honing in on the topic relationships. So to continue our conversation, I have a question here for you. It says, um, what is the difference between um, the styles of com communication as far as men and women? I feel like there are two totally different styles. I feel like men communicate in a way that is on a totally different planet <laughs> from females. I feel like we're more, we're more the communicators. We, we learn more from when we're younger to be expressive. We, we cry, we fall. We want to argue with our friends about our Barbies and their hair and their clothes. And we just learn to talk more. We do, we learn to express ourselves more. And men, when, they, when they're raised from boys, they're more so taught to kind of withhold in their, their emotions, be strong, you have to be the man, you have to be the head of the house. So they're not as expressive when it comes to their communication style. So they're, Two totally different styles, and that's what can lead to a lot of issues as far as you know relationships are concerned. Because you know, like we previously talked about, it leads to conflict sometimes when it comes to trying to figure out where a relationship is at, or are we on the same page? What are we doing? Is this just us? So it, there's there's a huge huge difference in terms of communication styles. Right. Um, some women feel that the macho man is like something that they want to that that turns them on. That like that's what attracts them to men. If men were like us when it comes to communication, do you feel that the relationships would be less complicated? Um, yes and no. Yes, in the sense that if they were more so like us, they would be, you know, communicate more, you know, be more expressive with their feelings. No in the sense because we're we're more emotional. We're we go more based off of our hearts and what I said men do, which is sometimes more rational with their mind and their thinking. So somebody, when you have that good communication, you balance each other out. So we have the women communicate from our style, we have the men communicate from his style, and it makes it mesh and work well. However, I think if both of you all are being the women in a relationship, or even two people are being the man emotionally, I don't think it works. It's not a good balance. You need to have some type of flow there. Okay. Um, so talking versus dating. What is your definition of talking? I'm going to ask that first. I think talking, um, there's an interest, I think that involves having an interest in one another. Right. Um, you know, you all know that there, there's an attraction there, maybe a little feelings there. Mm -hmm. Doesn't necessarily mean that there's any real type of intimacy involved. Right, um, so you're basically <laughs> saying like, I like you and I just right. want to see where this goes. See where this goes, let's right. see how this interest, can we click? Is there something that could be there? I think that's talking. Okay, so what is your definition of Dating. Now, dating, I think, is when things are going down the path where there's some expressed feelings there. Um, possibly some intimacies. Okay, possibly. There can be, you know, there's some, there's a sense of monogamy there, even if you all haven't had that quote unquote talk yet. There's a sense of, okay, you know, me and this person, we're together. You know, maybe you will have to clear that that sense of okay, this is me. So and you. dating can range from we're we're still we're not monogamous, but we're still trying to figure out where things are, but we're not technically in a relationship. So it's like all of those emotions mixed up in yeah. to one, and you claim that to be dating. I think so. That's so complicated. It is, and that's why there are so many issues when it comes to you know women and men in any relationship because. No one relationship is like another. You can't define your relationship by how your friend's relationship is. You can't sit down one night and be like, look, she has this 
going on and him and her did it like this and they moved like you can't do that you know you have to just figure out what works for the two of you right exactly so what is your definition of a perfect date oh my goodness um i think it's just i don't think doing the typical is a perfect date. like oh it's so a what is it to have them <laughs> okay you really can't really get the chance to really talk to someone you need so you should do something that just falls deep maybe mm -hmm. go listen to some live music somewhere sit and talk to each other then or I mean we're not too far from you know the lake here go to the lake walk on the beach you know kind of cliche <laughs> that's technically a part of the two <laughs> exactly right. but somewhere anything that involves the two of you getting a chance to really know each other and see we see, see what each other's head is at I mean I don't think the club is a good first date it's too much loud music right too many drinks things can happen right. <laughs> so who is between both genders, male and female, who is the biggest commitment foe in your life? I think it could be both. I don't think there is one in particular. I think because we're so ready to display our emotions, we could seem like the ones who are always chasing the man, but it could be both. I don't think there is one or the other. So of course from the normal standpoint you would say it's the man who doesn't want to commit, but it could be the female as well, because sometimes the guy could be way more into her than she is, and she's like, okay, he's kind of moving a little fast, so it could be, it could be either or. But typically, you know, we think it's the male. That's the... I think men are more sensitive than women. They're just better at hiding their emotions. That's so true. <laughs> That's <laughs> that is true. very, very true. They're so... They can be so stoic at times, but then it's like when they do express themselves, then you have to walk them really genuine because they're just not as easy to express themselves right, as right. we are so they communicate externally and we mm -hmm. communicate internally yes so right. that's what you have to really learn how to establish that sense of communication and keep things from just being on two different pages it's kind of something beautiful a little bit possibly <laughs> <laughs> well sabrina it's been great talking to you um i really enjoyed this conversation um for one more question i'm going to ask really quickly um <laughs> I'm rolling. I don't know what to ask. Can we stop? <laughs> um, uh, sorry. I'm 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 Okay, we're gonna move your mic. I'll make sure I can hear you. Hold on. Will I have to talk like a little louder than normal? It sounds it sounds good to me. But then again, I'm not in there doing the sound thing, so I don't know. Really keep talking. Is that better? Or can you hear me? I'm good. Okay. Yeah. Respond and close it up. Okay. 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 Okay
Okay. I'm on it, man. <laughs> and then to close it, he said, well, it's been great talking to you. Yeah, really really um, this wraps up our segment for Word on Campus. I'm Sierra Allen, and we're leaving a lot. I was just practicing the closing, but I don't even know what I'm Go through the cards for me. But I do tell you that you, you, you play some cards for them. So tell them. Do you have any other cards? No, do you have any other cards for them? Like, oh, me. Don't perform for the camera. Stop. Right. Perform for them. <laughs> <laughs> Which the lollipop it is now, though. He's <laughs> like the most gangster. Hold for a second. Can you drop it? No, no. Just for the. That was upside down. See, look at you. You got me all pissed and bothered later. All right. Thanks. Sit down. So, um, we just going back to the last question, right? Uh, how, how you want to play that? Do I? How y'all ask and do I? I tell you what, you see, look into this camera. Okay. No, don't look at the camera. Uh, not, not look into the camera, but just oh, look, be just aware. Here. Okay. So just break in off the off uh, the last question. Okay. Right. Pardon? Okay. So start from look, the last look question. Look at her. Look at her. Like it just like yeah. listening to her. <laughs> and then when, when you see him kill you, then talk. Okay. So but don't look directly at the camera. Just do it. Go do your thing like mm -hmm. you were doing before. Okay. Okay. So she can see you. Yeah, yeah. So just like look that. at her for like three seconds and then go into the question. I'll tell you. You'll right tell here. me when to talk? Yeah. Okay. Could you see my hand? Could you see my hand go down? Okay. 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 Yep, just uh. like she is, right? Okay. Should ask who on a date. That's that question. I really, I really can't say that question because I hate when people say that there's a certain gender that should do the asking. I think it should. I think it could be either or. Usually, you know, traditionally we're taught, okay, a female asks who right. on a date. He has to be the one that's always doing the pursuing you and always coming after you. But I think that it, I think it could go either way. I don't think there's any wrong or right way. Great talking to you. I've enjoyed our conversation so much. So this is Word on the Street. My name is Sierra Allen, and I said the wrong title. <laughs> Why do I keep saying Word on the Street? Did somebody say that before, and then now that's like stuck in my brain? I saw you. I said, I said. Was that one of the, the topics? Yeah, last Word week. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, just close, close it out again. Okay. That's that's what she's doing the same thing she did. I right, tell her after she finished, just look at her, have a conversation, we'll record. So let me start from the last question again. Go ahead, I'm sorry. Yeah, just do the last question. Um, do what you just did. And when you get to the very end, you say thank you for listening. Just look at Sierra on the screen. Just Sierra, look at the screen and keep talking. This is just the one minute or less. So do what you just did, the last question, and then we're gonna close it out. That was real good. We, we had you, but you stopped it. So that's okay. We just did that one portion right now. Okay. Right, where, right where we closed up. Right where we just did, do the yeah. same thing. So ask the last question yeah. again. Okay. Word on campus, people. Get it together. Right on set. Question. 
What gender do you feel should ask who on a date first? I really don't think that there's a particular way that that should go. I mean, traditionally we're raised where we think that the male has to do the asking because he's supposed to be the one that's doing the pursuing and the one that's actively trying to see what's going on and actually trying to put something together. But I think it could go either way. Now, I think there's an issue if you ask for someone that you clearly have no interest in, but just as far as it goes with just, you know, establishing something where you're like, hey, there's a little interest here. Do you think you might want to, you know, go grab a drink sometime or grab something to eat sometime? I don't think that there should be an established male or female role in this concern. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, what happened to, yeah, what happened to, what happened to, That was 30 seconds, and then I was like, I didn't get no calls. I didn't get nothing. Who didn't you? I think wrap it up means 30 seconds. So you're you're in charge. Do it. Just do it. You're in charge. We're following you. We're following you. Do it. On the last question. All you have to do is pay attention to him in terms of time, and that's it. When you finish, you say, well, thanks. Go to this camera and just end it. And then we'll finish the rest. Okay. okay. I was waiting on him. That was the problem. <laughs> oh. Okay. But on the last question, Sabrina, don't be so long, because that's it. You only got like a minute, and it goes real fast. So when I say wrap it up, Todd, let her know to bring it well, in. Whoa, 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 whoa. Now, 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 now I'm the, cute, the thing is to say 30 minutes, 30 seconds. Yeah, that was the cue. That was the cue. I, did. that like, was the oh, I didn't know. I said wrap it up. He told me wrap it up. So, okay, it, okay, mind you, this is it. So just close out. Okay. That you know, just close out. Uh, just do that last part again. I'll say thirty seconds, and and Sabrina, don't be so long with your answer. You know, just make it short because it goes fast. Okay, we ready. One last time. Let's do it. <laughs> so, Sabrina, for our last question, we have um, what gender do you feel should ask who on a date first? I think that's one of the biggest debates that everybody has, and I don't think there's a wrong or right way that it should go. Traditionally, when we're taught that the men should be the one to ask the girl on a date, the men right. should be the one to do all the pursuing or whatnot, but. Times have changed. I feel like if you know there's an interest and you would like to see if there's an interest, it could be either or and it really doesn't matter. Well, Sabrina, I enjoyed your conversation and we're here with Word on Campus. My name is Sierra Allen and thank you for watching. <laughs> so, Sabrina, for our last question we have here, what gender do you feel should ask who on the date first? I really don't think that there's a specific role that should do the, the asking or the pursuing anymore. You know, usually when we're brought up, we're taught that the male needs to be the one who's doing the asking and doing the pursuing. But I feel like if there's an interest there and you're trying to see where something could potentially lead, I don't think that it should be left up to the male just to do it. It could be the female as well. It should be such a specific role. Yeah. Well, thank you, Sabrina, for um, being on our show today. I really appreciated your time and conversation. My name is Sierra Allen, and this is Word on Campus, and thank you for watching.
I I switched to camera three, oh, but I should have been at two. But Chris um, Reeves, I think, you're you like, like thank you. I was like, right. I missed it. <laughs> this didn't wait for 30 seconds. <laughs> like 30 seconds. You know, wrap it up. Man. That was really, really, really good. Though. Can we get you the camera again? Yeah, Rashad, are we going to get you on that behind the scenes? No. 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 The Lord makes a way out of nowhere, don't you know? <laughs> don't bring the Lord into this. All right, the Lord is in all things. He's in you and I and the trees and the plants and the... Don't start. I'm not that. See, I've got a video kit. What did you see? Everybody, they get trying to catch you. No, I see what you're saying. Uh, you, you guys would come up there. All right, here, Brian, let's break a shot. Let him take your picture. Oh, are we supposed to break down the set now? Oh, yeah. Because he needs some. Mm hmm. Rashad, can we get you, please? No. Oh, we got him. Oh, we did? Okay. <laughs> we got him. We got him right here. <laughs> hey, how are you? <laughs> we got him right here. We had to try to get him, right? Yeah, we got him right here. Near the cameras, or yeah, I'll take care of that. Take these off, put them over in the box. Here. here you go. Let's drop the cable. Let's drop the cable right there. That's fine. Oh, okay. Thank you, sir. Okay. How are we? Thank you so much. Trying to uh, plug this one the spot Okay, everybody. Uh, everybody out here. Oof. Next week. Do you want me to get this? <laughs> no. You want me to get this? <laughs> no, we do it. <laughs> yeah, next week for spring break, right? Yep. Are you sure? Yes, yes. Sir, I'm positive. How you know? <laughs> 